What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back. It's your boy Blue, and as you can see, our train is not here yet. It's expected to be here at platform two. Our scheduled departure is at 8.30, and we will be taking it to Nottingham, and it is currently on time. So we're going to wait for our train to get here. In the meantime, uh, we can go check out what's going on over there at the other platform. Another train is parked over there, so I think we should walk over, check out the station. That's where the passengers come in. In the checkpoint there, walk over here over the footbridge, as they call it. And there's a few teleporting people popping up here and there, like popcorn. And head down and check out this train. And there it is. Honestly, I don't know a whole lot about UK trains, but I do know that that is the class 158. And it's just a part in here out of uh, Leicester. That's pretty sweet. It, it looks pretty nice. This is also uh, a brand new train to Train Sim World 3. Uh, this train did not exist on the other Train Sim routes. Uh, even though, uh, you know, I gotta say it, I mean, I, I'm American and a lot of these trains kind of look the same. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, but you guys also say that our American trains all look the same, and I'd have to agree because they kind of do. Uh, matter of fact, I can't tell a lot of them apart. But anyways, guys, welcome to Leicester. Um, our train is actually going to be over at Platform 2, as I said earlier. It's doing a little bit of uh, roaming around, uh, repainting some benches. Yeah, that's nice and clean now. We're going to take the bridge and walk back over to the other side. Now, I don't mind uh, trying some new trains out. Uh, look at Man, I wish these walls weren't here. It would be a really, really good train spot location. You know, put a tripod right here. That'd be perfect. But uh, yeah, I don't mind trying new trains, um, even though... You know, that class 158 is not like typically the type of train that I'm into. I'm definitely down to give it a try and see. You never know. So definitely expect to see a video from that here in the near future for sure. But uh, let me know if you are watching, if you are from the Leicester area, somewhere nearby. Let, let, let me know if, what you think of the station. Does it look like it should look? Does it look like real life? Is it realistic? I've never been out here before. So... I have to depend on you guys to tell me, hey, yeah, that looks good. It doesn't look good. So here comes our train. Oh, yeah, right on time. Take a listen to it. Oh, yeah. All right, let's walk up to the front. This is our ride. We'll be taking this train down to Nottingham. It's about a 30-minute drive, or expected to be a 30-minute drive, depending on if we get all green signals or if we have to stop anywhere. We do have three actual stations to stop at along the way. But other than that, hoping for a smooth drive today. It's a beautiful day. Partly cloudy. Sky looks really nice, I have to admit. I have to admit. All right, here we go up to the front. Take a look at it before we jump inside. Doesn't look too bad. Does not look too bad. I do like the weathering effect there off the uh, the, the front of it and on the window. That's pretty nice. All right, let's jump inside ourselves. And we will be taking over this service. All right, hop in the seats, and I will unlock the doors. All right, while the passengers are boarding, we need to get this thing ready for departure. So let's go our master key to unlocked or locked or whichever one it is. We'll put our reverser into forward, and we will go ahead and bring our train brake back into initial. Just a little bit of brake just to hold us here. And we're gonna turn on our AW, oh, AWS alerting system and silence it just like that. And we're already ready to lock the doors just like that. Man, that was easy. All right, let's do it. All right, we have the door shut. It is now time for us to go. We got the green lights. Let's go ahead and bring our brakes fully into running or released. We can give a couple honks to the horn just for why not. And throttle. 
There we go, rolling out. One thing I love about the doors on this train is if, if you noticed it, all the doors did not like perfectly in sync close or open. They actually were kind of staggered. It's kind of cool. Sweet. All right, we're about to hit 60 miles per hour. We have a 10-mile trek to get to Loughborough Station, Platform 1. I think I pronounced that route. Matter of fact, let me do a big shout-out to my homie Megasim uh, in Discord. He helped me out with <laughs> the station names, the city names on this DLC because, you know, I'm not from around here, so I would be just, I would have called it Lobro for real, um, which is hilarious to me. I don't care what you think. But anyways, we are 10 miles out from that. Speed limit is currently, I think, 100, 110. So we're going to try to stretch our legs out here, stretch our wings, get a little bit of speed underneath to see how fast that baby can go. It shows 150 on our HUD down here, but it says max speed 125. So we'll see if we get anywhere near that. I don't know if we will. Uh, we're going to be, you know, abiding by the speed limit. I know some people hate to hear that. Some people want me to just go, like, you know, light speed and crash the plane on, on train on purpose, but I don't do any of that stuff on purpose uh, unless, you know, you know, things happen. Sometimes you're on the Cajon Pass and you aren't paying attention. Next thing you know, you're doing 125 with 85 free cars behind you. You know, stuff like that happens, but I don't do it on purpose, so I just let it naturally happen. But anyways, speed limit is 120. We're going to do our best to get to 120 and stay at 120, if that's the speed limit. So, uh yeah that's, that's, what, that's what we're doing today but um yeah man one thing i think a lot of people may or may not realize i'm not sure how long you know you who are watching has been watching my channel but this is actually one of the first trains that i drove in train soon world obviously a different version of it there's another version of this train on the great western express dlc so if you are, if you absolutely love the hst I think it's a class 45. You absolutely love this particular train. It is also on Great Western Express. And I think it's actually a really good DLC. Sadly, it's not like as nice looking as maybe this one because it is. it was not a Train Sim World 3 route. It was an older Train Sim World route. Um, so I think it's got some updates. It got a little bit of TLC, a little bit of love in the past. I'm not sure how much it got. I know it was a very, very popular route back then. And I think even today, it's still very popular. But, um, but yeah, if you absolutely love this particular train, then I definitely would recommend you give uh, the Great Western Express route a try. I have not personally driven it in a long time, but it was one of my first. Um, I don't know why I chose to drive that train. It just happened to be, I think it ha may have just released or something when I first discovered Trains in the World years ago. Um, but my very first video ever was, I think it was called My First Train Sim or something like that. I posted that driving the HST. Um, I actually watched that back the other day because I was like, huh, I remember driving this train. I haven't driven it since, to be honest. <laughs> um, but yeah, seven miles out, let's do some drive-bys. I think that train back there was the same one that we saw back at the station before we departed. I believe we caught back up to him. He's stopping at that next station. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> but uh, hitting the left turn, uh, we're doing 103 miles per hour right now. We were at 110, but I slowed down a bit because the speed limit dropped to 110. So I kind of got off the throttle, so now we're a bit below that. But we'll put it back up. There's some uh, a lot of industry-like type stuff out here. And on the left, we got some more industry. It's like some kind of uh, cement or sand or some kind of grain or some freights. That is one thing that's missing currently in Train Sim World uh, 
three in this particular route is uh, they did not include the freight car or freight trains that run up and down this route. And uh, it's supposed to be coming later on. They do intend to add them. They took them out last minute, apparently. I am using an early access version, I should mention, of, uh, of uh, this DLC. So big shout out and thanks to Dovetail for providing the, the uh, early access version for me to try out, test out, and make some content on. But, but yeah, freight's coming soon. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I'm thinking that it might make the route maybe, hopefully, a tad bit busier. Uh, I mean, we're just getting started still. We haven't even made it to our, our next stop yet, but um, it's not as busy as I kind of expected it, I guess. Uh, whatever I think UK, you know, main lines, I think, you know, crazy busy. So uh, I do like the mixture of kind of express and the local stuff. That's always a good mix when it comes to a good route, in my opinion. But you know me, guys. I love my high-speed trains. I'm a high-speed train guy. That's what I do. I like long distance, high speed. That's what it's all about. Or long distance, slow speed. All right. There's some hard on the brakes here. The stations we should be right directly ahead of us. Maybe after that bridge right there. I'm not sure. But I don't know how much distance we need to stop from 100 to zero. So we're gonna break a little early. And we're right on our scheduled time. Yeah, was, we might be a little. I might have. Might have got a little too antsy there on the brakes. Might have been able to brake a little later. I'm going to figure it out. I feel like the best you can do is try to brake as hard as you can, as late as you can. I know that's not how you should do it. It's not realistic, but, you know. <laughs> you know. Now, here we come. Now we're 800 yards out, just coasting. Throttle's at zero. Brakes are released. Rolling in. All right, let's get some more brakes in here. Don't want the station to sneak up on, on us. There we go. That's much better. Like my goal was to kind of be around 2025 at the end of the platform. We came in at 30. I think we'll we'll still be able to make it. I'm still kind of playing. You can kind of hear I'm playing with the throttle. Man, this looks like an old station. This legit looks like an old station. Like the design of it even. You can even see on the stairs kind of rusting. Here comes another HST. Look who met us here at Loughborough. What's up, bro? Uh -huh. <laughs> toot toot. That was kind of cool. Alright, it's kind of almost there. I got, I, we definitely could have gotten the brakes a little bit later. Maybe 500 yards later. Alright, we're at 10 miles per hour. And it's like we're both going to stop here at the same time. All right, full service brakes. Let's get her stopped. There we go. And open the doors, please. All right, doors are closed. Let's go ahead and release those brakes, and we'll be on our way. Next stop, East Midlands in 6.4. All right, let's go max throttle. Let's get out of here. All right, green lights ahead. That's what I like to see. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, the passengers in the back literally look terrified. Uh, but you know, that's that's whatever. Uh, but uh, I've been looking around, looking at the scenery uh, on our left and on our right, and I mean, it's it's not the most scenic of routes. But every route doesn't have to be, you know, scenic. It's scenery is not always what's special about a specific route or a location. And because I'm not from around here, right? Uh, one of my questions I was asking some of you guys in one of my live streams recently was like, hey, so what's so special about the Midland main route, main, main line? Why are people so excited about it, right? And so that's kind of what I'm here to try and discover. And I'll go ahead and say it right now because I don't want to cliffhang you, but I still have not discovered it. I think it's great. 
I think the route is, you know, it, it's a route. It's a UK route. It looks like the UK. Um, there's not, you know, a whole lot of mountains. There's a few hills here and there, but it's not extremely hilly. There's nothing uh, crazy challenging about it. Uh, I think that it's just accurate to what it is, and that's how it is in real life. Got some uh, a small town there on our left, which is not a bad thing. Like, for example, where I live uh, in Texas, uh, Houston, Texas, I mean, I wouldn't, if you were to do a route in Houston, Texas, I would be extremely excited about it. But that doesn't make it a scenic route. It doesn't make, you know, it, it, there's stuff special about Houston that you would only understand if you were to live in Houston. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, that being said, there's definitely, I think, oh, another HST. Hello. <laughs> cool. Uh, there's definitely uh, stuff much to love about this route um, if you love uh, British high speed trains if you love the HST the 158 if you love this this region this area there's plenty to love here um, I've enjoyed myself so far I had you know I, I, I don't feel like I'm wasting my time at all driving around on this route I could run this route up and down multiple times and have plenty of fun and the scenery is not why it's just it's just a new place to me, right? I love to travel. I love to get out, go to new places, and this is a new place for me. And I want to learn more about the area. I feel like the more I learn about the area, the more I'll appreciate it. Speaking of learning about the area, look up ahead. There's like some massive like power plant or something, some kind of massive facility. Look at that refinery or whatever that's called. That's pretty interesting. That's massive. All right. Throttle idle, we're on the brakes. We're at 108. We're gonna need full service. I don't know if we're gonna make it. I don't know if we're gonna make it. <laughs> oh boy. 80. Yeah, we might be okay. We're doing 80 right at about a thousand yards. We might make it. We might be okay. But yeah, that's pretty cool though. That that uh, I wonder what that is. I would love to know what that is exactly. Use window wipers. Okay. Apparently I use my window wipers today. I just can't take my eyes off of it. I should be paying attention to the station by looking at those big freaking blowholes. All right. Yeah, we're looking good. 20, yeah, like I said last time, 20, 25, 30 at the end of the platform, you should be safe. And we're more than safe. Matter of fact, we might stop short. I guess better short than sorry, right? Yeah, I guess, yeah, is that a, is that a thing? Is that a saying? No, can it be? No, okay. All right, let's put some more power in. And it's kind of close up. We are on time. Look at that. We got here before 8.48. We're just kind of trying to get this thing to a stop at the platform. I think the passengers weren't expecting us either because it's a freaking ghost town out here. I almost wonder, is this station specifically for the workers at this site? That's what I would kind of assume. All right. We're going to get on the brakes because we know that it tends to... The brakes tend to seem very ineffective at low speeds like when I'm creeping like this and I go on the brakes I'm expecting it to just stop in place but then it it takes a minute as st as, uh, still so I mean I know I can stop short and that will save me time but I just it just bugs me <laughs> it just bugs me not to make it all right there we go on the brakes all the way like see what I'm saying how, how long it took to stop Okay, door shut, brakes released, and once again, we are out of here. One more stop to go in 7.7 .7 miles. That's gonna be Nottingham Station. Let's go. Ooh, this is a cool looking tunnel. It's like a castle, is this a bridge? What is this? That is really cool. I think this is... I think this might be the only tunnel I've seen on this route so far. And there's a breakout. Oh, look at that. Man, that looks so low. Like, I feel like I'm going to hit my head on those poles. That is crazy. <laughs> and then you can see the rest of that uh, industry thing over there. 
Yeah, so they have plants. That's pretty cool. All right, while we're cruising to our final stop of the day, I want to quickly show you guys the map here. So if I scroll out, you'll see we're on that final leg here. But we started way down here at the bottom of the map, so it really hasn't taken us a long time. It, again, from start to finish, it's only supposed to take about 30, 35 minutes from down here to the top. Uh, but what's interesting about this map is it's kind of like a fork kind of idea. So this is the high speed section down here, the long section. But then you have these kind of like spurs or branches off to left and right and you can actually run you know from bottom to top from left to right up and down whatever it's actually pretty cool with the way uh this route was laid out i like that it's not just a typical a to b but it's like you know a to b to you know c to b and c to a like it's kind of like mix and match because there are services that run you from uh, the left side to the right side and right side and back and uh, so it's pretty cool so we'll be i'll be showing you some of that on the channel as well so definitely stay tuned for that but right now, we are looking good. Speed limit is 80, I believe. We're doing a little bit slower than that. Just want to make sure we didn't speed while we were in the map. But we are definitely on schedule 2.4 miles out. And this section to our left kind of looks empty. Like it's something's supposed to be there. Like maybe some, um, I don't know, some empty freight wagons or something. I don't know. It'd be nice to put something there. That'd be nice to put something there. So we got to slow down to 40 here pretty soon, but that's only 30 miles per hour slower than us. So we'll kind of hold off just a little bit. Maybe in fact we'll start doing that now. Let's put like maybe train brakes set to two and let it get a gradual descent of, uh, of slowing down. That'd be pretty nice. All right, there's our AWS alarm. We're gonna go ahead and hit that to acknowledge it. And we're almost there. We are almost there, but yeah, I, I like I like the layout of the route on this map. Um, it's, it's actually pretty cool the way it's laid out. It's not that long, but I feel like this is the perfect train for it because the train is technically a high-speed train, but it's not that fast compared to like the ICE or even the Acela. So um, it's fast enough. The route is short enough to make it feel fast. Does that make sense? So yeah, it's it's fast, but not that fast. So for people like me who want some high speed action, you're gonna get your fix in. Like it's definitely good. You could do a non-stop where you don't stop anywhere, just go end to end. I'm not sure how long that would take. Um, probably 15 minutes, 20 minutes, I'm not sure. But uh, what we did today is supposed to take us about 30, 35 minutes. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Or you could you know jump into one of the, the, um, the class 158 and do a whole lot more stops you know so it's whatever you're into I think that's great what's great about routes like these you have the uh, express routes and you also have the the shorter commuter services that allow you know because people have their different tastes and we talk about this all the time uh, but you guys you've been watching my channel if, if you've been watching my channel long enough you may have an idea of my taste you know I love high speed I love freight um, I do like passenger as long as it's high speed. <laughs> I like to go my, the distance if I can. All right, let's get slow down to 25 now. 25 and 500 yards. And that sounds like an emergency brake going off. Yep. So I believe because we are in early access, uh, this is a known bug. I'm really hoping that they fix this before the full release because I hope that you don't have to worry about this. But this gives me a good chance to show you how to reset the AWS alarm. So right now, uh, let's first start off by putting our throttle back into idle, which it is. Uh, we'll put, I don't think we have to do this, but we'll put our reverser into neutral. And then we will go over here to the left and we're going to turn off the AWS isolation and just turn it back on. And then silence it just like that. And then I'm gonna put this baby back in forward for the reverser and we'll release our brake again. 
And let's see if it'll let, let us move again. Alright, it's trying. It's trying. And usually you can't put throttle with the brakes applied. So let's see if it's doing this thing here. Come on. Brakes are released. They should be. Oh, there they are. Now they're releasing. So I had to kind of make sure that brake wasn't running. So you can see the brakes are now releasing. And we are getting some amps here. So we're trying to move forward. It's just those brakes are holding us back. So once that brake releases, there we are. We are rolling again. Hopefully that's helpful to somebody out there uh, that gets an emergency brake. That's going to happen. It happens to everybody at some point. You know, no matter what train you run in, if you have the safety system turned on, eventually it's going to catch you. Because uh, all of us are not professionals and we get caught off guard. So here we go. We are only, we're less than a mile now. Less than a thousand yards away from Nottingham Station Platform. We're almost done. Make sure that's not going to get us again. And we're going to roll right in here. Yep, red light ahead as well. So yeah, I believe that's a bug that they're going to fix, hopefully before release. I don't know if they're going to fix it or not, but... Uh, it basically happens going into Nottingham the exact same spot every time. So, all right, we're gonna keep our speed down. 25 is coming up. It just popped. Yep, there it is. And here we are. Screeching our way into the station. Eh, it looks like we are going to end up arriving just a couple of minutes late. I think if we had not had that uh, emergency brake go off, we probably would have made it. But that's all right. I think that we should have uh, some time between our service and the next one. I'm not sure if, uh, if you continue down the timetable, if this service is just going to turn around and head back. Uh, to where we came from, if it's going to continue off the map to some other distant location. I believe some of these HSTs do uh, end up in London St. Pancras, so it'd be pretty cool. Kind of like how I mentioned with the Acela, it'd be pretty nice if you could kind of drive these all the way to where they do actually originate or end at in um, other cities. Kind of have like connection maps in a way. We have like a connection, you can connect um, a way to have that middle. So there's a red signal right there. Make sure we stop right here on the marker. Here we come. There it is. We made it. Welcome to Nottingham. Open up the right side doors. There it is. We made it. Welcome to Nottingham and welcome to the Midland Mainline. I hope you guys enjoyed this ride on the HST. Thanks for riding along and I hope you guys enjoy the DLC as well. Let me know what you think of the train, of the route of the DLC. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you going to check it out? Are you going to skip it? Whatever. Drop it in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, or give it all. You got peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time next video. I'm out.